Once upon a glorious full day, three goats frolicked merrily through a wooded glen. The eldest goat, Goat, was a masculine sort, incessantly pursuing his ultimate dream, to become swole. The fanciest of the goats, also named Goat, was a medically prescribed addict of shopping, specifically for scented candles. And then there was Goat. A jovial but wretchedly dim-witted fellow, presumably still not quite sure exactly what a scented candle even was. The trio gaily pranced and frolicked through the woods together for hours, but soon realized they had become quite hungry. So off they went, to the forest's most majestic eatery, McDonald's. As they traversed, they approached a magical bridge. But no sooner had they set hoof upon the bridge than it began to quake violently, which, unfortunately for the goats, awoke the obnoxiously rhyming bridge troll. One goat at a time, squawked the cantankerous hobo. This is my bridge, so you better pay up the troll toll. The uninterested goats tried the easy way out. But that's no good for the story, said the troll with a pout. The hooved homies agreed and returned to the bridge, except Goat, who had become very preoccupied with his own shoe. As the first goat stepped back onto the bridge, the troll extended a knobbly hand to collect his toll. I would love to pay your toll, but I'm all out of money. I blew my last dollar on candles, but this one smells kind of funny. The troll was irate, but took the disgusting smelling candle and let her pass. He could simply collect the funds from the next goat. And besides, he had needed something nice for his bathroom anyway. Goat was next in line, and eventually made his way onto the bridge. Now your turn, simple one. Where is the cash? Goat gave a blank stare, then showed the nice troll his rash. The troll eventually tired of Goat's sheer stupidity and decided to collect the toll from the oldest goat instead. Finally, my payment, screeched the troll at the last goat, who replied with a smirk and, I bet you don't even lift, bro. The troll, outraged by the strangely buff goat's insults, accepted a push-up challenge. The emasculated troll did nearly 22 push-ups, then realized goat had already crossed the bridge. Get a job, loser, cackled goat as he fled. The troll then threw a tantrum and cried in his bed. Pleased with themselves for having outsmarted such a cretin, our furry friends continued and victoriously reached their long-awaited fast food. And that is how three goats learned the power of teamwork, as well as the true importance of providing for yourself rather than mooching lousy bridge tolls off your neighbors. The goats returned to their wooded glen and everyone lived happily ever after. Except for the troll who the goats savagely beat to death.